This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Now, Bill wants help keeping his files secure across multiple devices. He writes, I would like to encrypt some Dropbox files with TrueCrypt. Should I put the entire Dropbox folder in a TrueCrypt container or have a TrueCrypt container as a file in Dropbox to hold my sensitive files? I have a couple of issues. I would like to access my sensitive text files on my Galaxy S3. I also want to access the encrypted Dropbox files on my other Windows computers. He then followed up with this email. I moved my Dropbox folder to a TrueCrypt container. The problem with this is that the Dropbox application can't be run until the TrueCrypt drive is mounted. I found a Lifehacker article on the subject. I had to make some changes to accommodate Windows 8. It's working. I have two more Windows 8 and three Windows 7 computers to do in order to complete the job. Bill in Huntsville, Alabama. So Bill found a solution for his problem, but our AP Michael Hand thinks he has an even better way. Yes, I think so. I'm, I'm ready to start right. this encryption. All right. Uh, so what's, what's wrong with Bill's setup right now? So I wouldn't say it's necessarily wrong, mm -hmm. but Roger Chang is very blunt and he would say it's wrong. Because like he mentioned, the problem with it is you have to mount the TrueCrypt volume first for Dropbox to even work. And then that means that the files are still being sent unencrypted to Dropbox. Gotcha. So I think this is the Lifehacker article that he was mentioning. Um, and even they mentioned that it's not the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. So what I would say to do instead is to go with Boxcryptor. So Boxcryptor is a, a whole suite of applications for different um, operating systems that was made just for this so that you can hook it up with like a Dropbox or a SkyDrive, Google Drive, all of that. Oh, neat, and it, okay. So it's made, but it's very similar to TrueCrypt that you can create a, self, a container file that you can put all your sensitive data into, and then that'll sync with all of your cloud services. So now why, I, I, I get what Bill is doing, um, but isn't there already encryption built into a lot of these online services? Like, doesn't Dropbox do AES encryption already? It does, but some people are a little paranoid about maybe someone gets access to like a computer that is synced with all of their files, okay. and stuff like that, so that, yeah, Dropbox probably can't see it, but in case other people get access to those files. Gotcha. So it's good to add another step if you're super paranoid. It's an added layer, gotcha. Yeah. So I'll show off how Boxcryptor works. Um, it's pretty simple and very seamless, especially if you want to um, go with something that syncs with a smartphone. Mm -hmm. So it's really simple. You set up a, a container here. It asks for your password. So my password is not Texilla, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and so it mounts. You would say that if it was. <laughs> so it mounts a drive in here. You can see it right down here. Um, and then this is all encrypted, but it's also synced with Dropbox because this this uh, container file is inside of my Dropbox account here. Okay. So using this, you can put any files that you want, and they'll be encrypted and synced with your. Uh, different devices. So in this case, I'll put in the Texilla logo. And you can see all the different um, applications that they have. So they have Windows, Windows RT, Mac, iOS, Linux, all of that. So I've already, that file was so small, it's already linked with my Dropbox. Mm -hmm. So I can open it up. I'm, I'm prompted on my phone when I open the Boxcryptor app for the password. So it's opening up that. Um, OK, so that's, that's just the super simple way of getting access on your phone. You just install the application, put in your password, and then you have access to all then, those files. Yeah, and so it's so seamless that it almost seems like it's not doing anything. But one way to figure that out, if it's actually working, mm -hmm. is to open up your Dropbox account. And then if you go into the, the volume, you're like, oh, no, you can see everything in there. But if you click on, so we'll open up this text file. If I open this in text edit, that's what it looks like. So it's ah, being encrypted. Okay. But if you open it inside of the app, if you have the Android or iPhone app, then you can see the text document. You can see anything that you put in there. Awesome. So bottom line, you totally recommend this product? Yeah, it's great. And it doesn't have to be just Dropbox. You can use it with any sort of cloud service that you want. Mm -hmm. And so would you recommend paying for the paid version or just sticking with the free version? I think the free version, in most cases, are fine. The paid version. You're supposed to get it if you're using it for commercial uses or 
Um, I think you can do multiple volumes with that, but if you just want to have one self-contained place for all your super secure or needed super secure files, then I would just go with the free version. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, we still have those headphones I was talking about earlier coming up, but right now it is time to thank one of our sponsors. Need a new domain name? Consider registering a new .com. We all know that the .com domain name is the original and the best. It's globally understood and gives your website immediate credibility no matter what name you choose. And the best place to find new .com domain is at domain.com. Here at Techzilla, we like domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and totally easy to use. Plus, domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter at domain.com and great customer support makes it a really fun place to do business. Not enough? What about an awesome coupon code? with a big fat 20% discount off Domain.com's already low prices. All you need to do is use the coupon code TEXELLA when you check out at Domain.com. That's 20% off, people. Big time savings. Don't forget, give the TEXELLA coupon code some love. When you think domain names, think Domain.com. And that's a .com.